What's up guys, Lou here back with another video and today it's a bit of an unusual one. As you can tell, I have all the different flagship devices in front of me, or at least many of them. I've got the LG G4, the Galaxy S6, and iPhone 6 Plus, as well as an HTC One M9. Then on the left, I have a new device, which I haven't even unboxed yet. This is from a company called ZTE, who are new players in the smartphone space, at least here in North America and at this price point. And this is the Axon, which is targeted at individuals looking for a high fidelity sound. When you think about sound, sometimes you think about the speakers on the phone, like you would with the HTC stereo sound. Believe it or not, more often, you should be concerned with the sound output from the headphone jack, because usually that's how you listen to your phone. Now, in the case of the Axon, you have supposedly improved audio characteristics with a higher quality built-in DAC. That is your digital to analog converter, which will take bits and bytes associated with an audio file, whether that's an MP3 or an uncompressed audio file, and then turns it into something that you can hear. So the purpose of this video is to take this supposedly hi-fi phone, play back the exact same song on this device as well as these other flagships and figure out if I can tell the difference. Now ZTE is touting 32-bit playback, but whether or not that is an actual impactful thing is up for discussion. The more interesting thing here is the amplification and the avoidance of distortion that can come from low quality DACs. Not that the ones in your average flagship are bad, it's just that there are better ones out there. Nonetheless, let's jump inside the box and take a closer look at what might be the best sounding smartphone currently on the market, the ZTE Axon. You can see it has dual cameras on the back. One of these is gonna be used for the background blur. You could take two shots and get uh, the perception of a greater depth of field. Also two flashes there. Footprint wise is almost identical to the iPhone 6 Plus. You've also got a dedicated shutter button, power switch in this location over here, volume rocker on this side, and a SIM card tray. Now, the other exciting part about this phone is the headphones it ships with. They're from JBL. They sit a little bit further in your ear canal. We have small, medium, and large, and a flat style cable. I'm gonna go ahead and get this set up and we will begin the audio test to determine which is the best sounding smartphone. All right, so I'm back. I have all the different phones set up with the same music, same song, and same service. It's Google Play Music across the board. Can the ZTE Axon improve the listening experience for normal people who aren't gonna go out and download a bunch of gigantic FLAC files? So let's get this started. Okay, I'm gonna really quickly move over to the next device. This is the Galaxy S6. Okay, immediate feedback. S6 sounds better than the LG G4. For me, it's a little bit crispier. Somewhere in the mids and the highs, the, the vocals just pop out a little bit more. iPhone 6 Plus. Very similar sound from the 6 Plus to the S6. Right away, I no notice more emphasis on the low end here on the HTC. There's certainly more punch in the low end here, but really what this is all about is this new ZTE product over here on the left. This is the one claiming to have this hi-fi capability. A little bit nervous right now. Oh, wow. To my ears, this thing sounds better. It doesn't feel like there's em any emphasis on the low end, especially coming from the HTC One M9. If anything, it's a, it's a kind of crispiness at the top end. More detail in general. The thing I wanna do, since these headphones, these JBLs shipped with the ZTE, I wanna try something of my own. So I have those SRH440s. These are a relatively flat, over-the-ear style headphone. Hang on one second. I'm gonna go back to the iPhone real quick. No, nope, no way. This does not sound as good as that phone. Whatever they're doing on that device from a hardware and software standpoint. Wow. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to do more testing with it. But this was the thing that caught my attention immediately when stacked up against these much more expensive competitors. Now, they're more expensive for various other reasons. But if music is your jam, well, I mean, music is everybody's jam. But you know what I'm saying? If you're an aficionado, you might want to do a little more research. And if you can, even listen to 
this Axon from ZTE. Very cool. All right, thanks very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Later, guys.